What is an itch? Itching, also known as pruritus, can be more than a small annoyance. It can cause a lot of discomfort and may even become a distraction. You may be wondering when itching is serious and how you can cure your itchiness at home. Before watching the video, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever I publish a new video. An itch can feel like a burning sensation, a slightly electrical or periodic non painful sensation, or like something is crawling along the skin. Other than being extremely annoying at 2 a.m., an itch is a sensation caused by stimulation of nerve cells in the skin. That stimulation is what makes a scratch. So, why does scratching feel good? If you think about it, scratching is a type of pain, yet we rely on it to get rid of an itch. When we scratch, we send low level pain signals to the brain. These pain signals temporarily distract the brain from the itch. These pain signals also release serotonin in the brain, feels really, really good. But serotonin also resets the itch signal. In some cases, this can create a never ending itch scratch cycle. To stop the constant need to scratch your scalp, back, or any other area of your body, you need to know why you get itchy in the first place. Itching is caused by a complex interaction between cells of the skin and our nervous system. Various cell types, proteins, and inflammatory mediators are involved. Chemicals released in the skin send a message to the spine through nerves in the skin, then the spine communicates with the brain, and we become itchy. One of the most common causes of itch on the skin is dry skin, which causes micro-fractures within the skin barrier. When this happens, local inflammation from cell signaling occurs, and chemicals like histamine and kinins are released. This causes tissue redness, swelling, and nerve irritation that are then interpreted by our body as itch. Hives, irritants, or contact exposures on the skin can lead to a somewhat similar phenomenon as dry skin. All of these conditions can cause skin irritation and swelling, and local release of irritating chemicals from cells, such as eosinophils and basophils, that irritate skin nerves and create an itching sensation. So when should you look for a cause? If you're not getting relief, or your itching is getting worse, it might be time to see your doctor. During your appointment, it's important to provide your doctor with a detailed history so they can get to the root cause of the itch. You should give information regarding your food allergies, travel history, medical conditions, topical products you are using, supplements or any medications you might be taking. All of these are possible causes of an itch and should be systematically eliminated to identify the root cause of itch. So why is it so hard to resist scratching an itch? Itching is an inherently harassing and annoying sensation. Our natural instinct is to eliminate it, and scratching is a knee-jerk response for immediate, albeit temporary relief. But since this is temporary, we're left with the irritating itch, and the itch-scratch cycle repeats itself yet again. Sounds frustrating, right? Well, the good news is there are plenty of ways to stop scratching an itch. 1. Don't scratch. The best way to eliminate scratching, is not to start. As hard as that sounds, it can often amplify the intensity of the itch, and that's why it's important to identify the underlying cause of the itch so that it can be treated. 2. Moisturize. If skin is dry, restoring the skin barrier with therapeutic moisturizers is extremely important and can provide fairly quick relief. A fragrance-free non-hypoallergenic lotion would be a great choice. 3. Use an antihistamine. Antihistamines are another popular option to relieve itching related to allergies and other skin conditions, such as hives. Over-the-counter oral antihistamines include non-drowsy products like Allegra and Claritin. You can also use Benadryl or Chlortrimton, but proceed with caution. These products can cause drowsiness. 4. Apply a cold pack. Additionally, applying a cold cloth or ice pack to the itchy area for 10 minutes or taking an oatmeal bath can help calm itchy skin. 5. Leaf gels. Try a plant-based product like aloe vera gel or cooling menthol for simple itches caused by sunburns or mosquito bites. Menthol, which produces a cooling effect, is made from the peppermint plant. Topical menthol should be used with caution due to the possibility of it being an irritant to the skin if not diluted. Both of these products can be purchased at most drug stores. 6. Hydrocortisone. An anti-itch cream is another common way to soothe itchy skin. Get an anti-itch cream that contains at least 1% hydrocortisone. This drug inhibits inflammatory responses in the body and can help calm inflamed, itchy skin. 
This cream should be used for the shortest period possible and then discontinued. 7. Antidepressants. According to some studies, antidepressants might be able to help with itching, too. Some of these drugs cause a release of serotonin that can relax the receptors in your body that provoke the itchy feeling. This treatment is typically used in more chronic cases of itching. Regardless of the cause, schedule an appointment with your doctor if you're itching consistently for three or more days. While itching usually doesn't indicate a serious problem, general itchiness all over can sometimes be a sign of a serious condition, including thyroid, kidney, or liver disease, or even cancer. Contact your doctor immediately if you experience severe itchiness without any bites, wounds, or rash. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos of this kind please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.